The Omen were a group of outcasts who had been shunned since birth due to their grotesque appearance. But even a life in the sewers of the capital city wasn't punishment enough. The powers that be deemed the Omen unworthy of life itself. Before we venture into the lands between, here's a quick shout out to AOA.com, our sponsor. If you want runes, items, armor, and weapons right now, you can get it from these worthy tarnished. And by using the code in the description, you can get 3% off, courtesy of the Inhuman One. But who would carry out such a lowly order? Only those either morally corrupt or devoid of emotions could mercilessly execute these unfortunate souls, whose only sin was being born. The capital city turned to a group of individuals known as the Depraved Perfumers, a sect of those who had mastered the apothecarial arts and were infamous for their heretical practices and lack of moral inhibitions. The item description for the Depraved Perfumer set reads, These heresy-inclined perfumers imbibe their own spices to alter body and mind. Their slow descent into self-destruction is what earned them their name. The flavor text for the perfumer's bottle reveals that, originally, the perfumer's vast knowledge of their unique art was guarded jealously in Lanedale. But after they were drafted into service, during the shattering, the art became widely practiced throughout the lands between. Not only did the perfumers have the ability to alter their minds and bodies, but also an unmatched combat prowess. But who would serve as the first? The duty would fall to a powerful perfumer known only as Rolo. The item description for the Omen Killer Rolo Ashes reads, Spirit of Rolo, known as the First Omen Killer. Once a famous perfumer, Rolo imbibed a physic to rid himself of emotion, thus enabling him to enact his nightmarish labor, hunting the Omen. Despite their notoriety for their alleged detachment from morality, Rolo proved that desperate measures had to be taken to distance himself from his humanity. The concoction he crafted was specifically designed to suppress his emotions and allow him to don his fear-inducing garb. Each and every piece of equipment used by the Omen Killers was designed to inflict equal amounts of pain, humiliation, and terror upon their prey. From their signature masks to their curved swords, simply eliminating the Omen wasn't enough. They had to regret every moment of their disgraceful existence. Even their dreams were not free from the horrors the Omen Killers brought with them. The Omen Smirk Mask was described as a mask with long, hideously twisted horns worn by the Omen Killers, increases strength, bears the smirking face of an elder twisted in wicked delight. This visage is carved in the image of the evil spirits that haunt the Omen in their nightmares. The flavor text for the great omen killer Cleaver further reveals how their cruelty knew no bounds. The blade of this huge, loathsome cleaver comprised a row of amputated omen horns, weapon of slaughter wielded by the omen killers. The hideous horns caused blood loss, adding vibrant colors to the ongoing mayhem. Only a truly monstrous being can take pleasure in mercilessly slaying the oppressed while simultaneously adding insult to injury. You see, the Omen Berendal explains how the Cursedborn had their horns excised at birth, typically resulting in their death. Only those devoid of emotions could exact a punishment with such an offensive armament. Sadly, Rolo served as the progenitor of his kind and many followed in his footsteps. The Omen Killer robes are proof that some men are inclined to indulge their twisted conscience and are more than willing to embrace the bloodthirsty butcher that resides deep within us all. And that's all for this video. Until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.